السلام عليكم guys for a long time I was yearning and hoping to be able to enjoy those wonderful sights of the Holy Land and it's a very famous and known thing that the land is blessed here by the blessing of the Creator. Now we all know that our ancestors while they were seeding their fields in the next day they found hundred times more than they expected because the blessings of the Creator upon them revealed the unconditional love of the Father to His children. The thing, thing is with us is that we do not believe in ourselves enough to realize and to understand that all that blessing until today is waiting for us. The Father cannot be happy until He will see His children stable and satisfy, confident, wealthy, healthy, and all the good things that the parent is hoping for his children. Now when Hashem blessed Avraham, He told him, Lecha u lezaracha etnena. I will give the land to you and to your seed, to your children. Because the parent and his children are one package. And that package is something that we need to realize and to come back to our roots to understand that it's us, that it's all ready and waiting for us to inherit, to enjoy, physically and spiritually. The blessing was also like that it's written on King David, that in one night he was able to learn and to achieve what that 100 holy, pure and wise sages were not achieving in 100 years of learning. The righteous man is enjoying spiritual bounty in levels, quantities, and amounts that are beyond the ability of a certain regular person without spiritual mind to grasp. We can just not realize how much a person can get and achieve by connecting himself to the Creator by understanding and realizing that the light is not a physical light, that the land and the ground is not a physical ground, that the books are not physical papers and coverings. Those are reflections of the Creator. The light is a godly light. The wisdom is divine, spiritual and pure expressing the unconditional love of the Father to His children. And that's what we need to remember. You are not the physicality of your existence. You are the soul that lives within. Betoch ami anuchi yoshavet. Inside my people I live, the Creator said. And is saying on daily basis, in every moment, 
The Creator is revealing and telling you, listen to the inner voice because I am talking to you from within. I am the one that I am and you are the one that you are and you are one with the Creator. You are as well a reflection of the unconditional love. Houses in the Promised Land, cars in the Promised Land, citizenship in the Promised Land, a spot in a synagogue in the Promised Land, all of those are reflections of the unconditional love of the Creator to His children and we and when I say we, I talk about all the children of that great person named Israel, Israel, Yaakov, our father. He had 12 children, 12 tribes. The blessing was divided to 12 tribes. Every one of them inherit a piece and a share in the Holy Land of Israel, the Holy Land of that holy person named Israel. Twelve tribes are not only the Jewish people. The Jewish people are one tribe, the children of Judah. But not only the tribe of Judah are the children of that father, Yaakov. The children of the father Yaakov are the twelve tribes. The majority of the tribes are still lost in the darkness of exile between the nations, blend in a world that it's very, very hard to recognize the light of the Creator over there. It's very complex to understand the loving kindness of the Creator in the darkness of the exile. But our Father in Heaven is standing over there behind the clouds behind the moon, behind the sky, behind the trees, behind all curtains of creation and whispering to us with His loving voice, My children, I love you. I'm waiting for you. Don't give up. Don't back off. The promise that I gave to your ancestors, I shall keep, I'll make it happen to you and to all your loved ones. The land of Israel is a reflection of His unconditional love. We should just pray to join, to come back, to become one with Him, one nation under the sky one people, united, loving, respecting, honoring, supporting, teaching and sharing the wisdom that we've been blessed with by the Creator. If you want to know the Creator, you should know yourself. Who are you? You are the one that you are like that He is the one that He is. Eheyeh asher eheyeh, shalachani elechem.